Hi, I'm Keisha from carseatblog.com. Today we're going to be installing the Snug Ride 35 LX model with both latch or seatbelt. And the, this tutorial is not a replacement for reading the instruction manual. The most important thing that you can do is read the instruction manual and even child passenger safety technicians need to read the manual. All right, with that out of the way, this is the LX model of the Click Connect, okay? This is the model that has the lock off on the base. And that is sort of one of the important distinctions of the LX model. The first thing that we want to do is to make sure that we have the correct recline angle in the window. All right, um, this seat has multiple adjustments on the base. What I always suggest doing is starting off with the max extension on the base. All right, and then only if you start to see orange in the window, do you see orange the way you're looking at it? Very slight. Very slightly. Okay, so we can actually lower it. We can backtrack a notch. There, no orange. Okay, so that's going to be our correct um, position for this seating position. To install with seat belts. All right, we have a lap shoulder belt here. We're going to open the lock off. We're going to thread the lap and shoulder belt up under the belt pass through the open lock off and buckle. Okay, now I'm going to climb in. I'm going to use my knees to press the base back into the vehicle seat and then I'm going to use my, one of my free hands to apply some downward pressure. Basically what I'm going to do is take one hand, I'm going to grab just the shoulder belt portion of the belt and I'm going to pull it really tight. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get all the slack out of that lap belt portion. Okay, once it's snug, I'm going to fold this under. I'm going to lock both portions of the lap and shoulder belt under the lock off. Actually, it's bunching a little bit. Get it not to bunch. All right, and then close it. Okay, and you'll hear that nice solid thud when it's locked. To check for tightness, you're checking only at the belt path to make sure that it doesn't move more than an inch from side to side, and it doesn't, and it doesn't move more than an inch front to back, and it doesn't. You're only checking for tightness at the belt path. If you grab the base here, it will always move more than an inch from side to side. So it's important that you only check for tightness at the belt path. So our base is snug in the vehicle, the lock off is locked, the recline angle is good for a newborn, and you can attach your carrier, make sure it's locked in, and the handle can be left in any locked position, so whatever is convenient for you to leave the handle in that position in the vehicle is fine. Now we're going to do a latch installation. Let's open the lock off. The latch attachments come stored on the base to take them off their little storage points. Again, you want to make sure that you are adjusting the base so that you have an appropriate recline angle in the window here. When you're attaching the lower anchor attachments onto the lower anchor bars, you always want to make sure that the hook is facing down like this. Two. I'm going to take your tail end over here and pull it snug. Okay, and then again, I'm going to climb in using knees, using hand. Uh, it is important that you do not route the latch belt under the lock off. Okay, they want it to go over. Thread your loose tail end back into the belt path so that it's facing you. All right, it's much easier to pull if you're pulling towards the center. All right, take your weight out. Make sure this goes back out. Check for tightness, doesn't move at all. 
doesn't move front to back, you're golden. The other important thing to note when it comes to the recline angle is to make sure that you're on level ground to start off with, because if you're not on level ground to start off with, that's going to skew your results. So make sure you're on level ground. That's good. You attach the carrier. Whoop, where am I? There we go. There you have it. Installation of the Snugride 35 LX Click Connect model from Graco. Thanks for watching.